What's going on everybody on YouTube? This is a video I just made from a stream that I recently did. It was a short stream on Twitch. If you want to follow me there, it's Tristan0795. I've started doing a little short streams here and there talking about some of the verses of the day and going a little bit deeper in to them and some commentary. So that's what this one's about. It's 2 Corinthians 5.17 talking about becoming new in Christ. Also, what I'm going through right now at church is called Regeneration. And that's through Watermark Church, and I'm learning how to be regenerated and be made alive through the past weaknesses that I had, the past things that I used to struggle with. I'm being regenerated and being made new in my life in Christ. So I hope you like the video. See you later. Um, well, the cool thing about the program that I have been a part of at my church now that is called Regeneration, we're going to go to what regeneration means. To regenerate means to affect a moral reform in someone, to recreate or make over in better condition, to revive or produce anew, bring into existence again, to renew or restore, and in quotations, a lost or injured part. Everyone needs regeneration. Everyone needs to be made anew. We live in a broken world and suffer pain. We all hide from God. We all have a relationship that needs mending. We all establish harmful patterns of dealing with pain. But God is out to rescue us, to heal us, and to restore and to create, to restore us to our created purpose. He has made eternal, abundant life available. He can and does make everything new. So. The program Regeneration, if you can see that, Regeneration at Watermark Church is what I am a part of in Dallas, Texas. And the cool thing about 2 Corinthians 5.17, let's look at this verse, shall we? It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, and the new is here. We heard, I heard that so many times yesterday specifically. Let's go into a commentary. Let's go down to the commentary and meaning of this verse specifically. Therefore, if anyone in Christ stop, there's a secret being in Christ from everlasting. So all that are loved by him, espoused unto him, chosen and preserved in him, to whom he was a covenant head, surety and representative are in him, united to him and one with him, not in the sense as the Father is in him and the, eternal, the, and the human nature is in him, but as husband and wife, as head and members are one. And there's an open being in Christ's conversion when a man believes in Christ and he gives himself to him. Faith does not put a man into Christ, but makes him appear to be in him. And such one is a new creature, or as some read it, let him be a new creature, who understand being in Christ is to be by profession. In this sense is this. However, whoever is in the kingdom or church of Christ who professes himself to be a Christian ought to be a new creature. Arabic version reads, he is the faith, he is in the faith, Christ is a new, uh, he's in the faith of Christ is a new creature. All such who are secretly in Christ from the everlasting, though as yet some of them may not be new creatures, yet they shall be sooner or later. And those who are openly in him are converted persons are actually so. They are a new creation. As the words may be rendered, this, a new creation, is a phrase often used by the Jewish. Doctors is applied by the apostle to converted persons and designed designs not outward reformation of life manners, but inward principle of grace, which is creature, a creation work, and so not man's but God's. So that's, that, this is just crazy. It's blowing my mind. In which man is purely passive, as he was in the first creation. And this is a new creature or a new man in opposition to or distinction from the old man, the corruption of nature. And because this is something anew implanted in the soul, which never was there before, it is not working upon, it is not an improvement of the old principles of nature, but an implantation of new principles of grace and holiness. Here is a new heart and a new spirit and in them a new light and life, new affections and desires, new delights and joys. Here are new eyes to see with. Here are new ears to hear with. Here are new feet to walk. Here are new hands to work and act with. So in every single sense of the way, 
new. That's crazy to me. That's in this part. That's in this part alone. That's what that means. So, what's next? This part after this. Therefore, is in with Christ. The old is gone. Old things are passed away. The old course of living, the old way of serving God, whether among Jews or Gentiles, the old legal righteousness, old companies, or sorry, old companions and acquaintances are dropped. All external things as riches, honors, learning, knowledge, former sentiments of religion are relinquished. So any understanding, anything before, anything of old is relinquished. What does relinquished mean? Let's see what that means. Relinquished. Voluntarily cease to keep calm to give up. So the what this is literally saying, the old legals of righteousness, old companions, acquaintances are dropped, external things, riches, honors, learning, knowledge, anything of that. Oh, hello microphone. Sorry. Anything of that is to what? To keep or to, uh, cease to keep. So cease to hold on to or to give it up. That's because why? All of this. If we are in Christ, anything of old is to give up. To anything of old is to cease to keep. That's just what it's saying. And then, behold, all things are new. So the new creation has come. The new is here is what that's talking about. So in the new is here, what does that look like? There is a new course of life, both of faith and holiness. That's the new you for, so that's the start of the, the spark notes version of what the all things becoming new are, is that there is a new course of life, both of faith and holiness. What does that look like? What is holiness defined as? What is holiness defined as? Holiness meaning. In the state of being holy, a life and of holiness and total devotion to God. So that's what that looks like. A new course of life, both in faith. What is faith defined as? Complete trust or confidence in something or something. So a complete trust is being is being produced and then a life of total devotion is being produced so a life of total devotion and then a complete trust complete trust and a life of devotion is what we're saying right here this is a new course of life complete trust and complete devotion a new way of serving God through Christ by the Spirit and from the principles of grace. A new, another, and being a better righteousness is received and embraced. A new companions are sought after. So it completely goes, it goes with and completely goes against what the old things are being passed away. So all of, here's all the old things, all the old stuff. Here's all the things that we do that are old. And then what does it say by the things becoming new? A new companions are sought after delighted in new riches new honors glory and new jerusalem yeah new heavens and new earth are expected by new creatures things these things are expected by us is what it's saying by new creatures in the sense of the whole may be this if any man has entered into the kingdom of god into the gospel a dispensation what's dispensation mean let's see what that says dispensation Exemption from the rule or usual requirement, a system of order. What does that say? A into the gospel. So we're into a new system of order. This is the new. We are in this. We are in this now, in this system because of us becoming new. We are in the system of the gospel. In Christ. We're in that system. We're in that. We're in Christ. That's exactly what it's saying. 
he has become a new creature or is into a new creation, as it were, into a new world, whether he be a Jew or a Gentile, for with respect to the former state of either the old things passing away, so this, or the old ordinances of circumcision and the Passover are no, are no more. So the law and all that stuff and all the ways that the Jews lived, all that, like that doesn't matter. Being crucified and being in Christ means exactly this. If a Jew of a whole Mosaic economy is abolished, the former covenant is wax and old. It's vanished away. The old ordinances of circumcision and the Passover are no more. The daily sacrifice is ceased. All the other sacrifices are in. Christ is the great sacrifice. Being offered up in the priesthood of Aaron is antiquated. There is a change of it, of the whole law. The observance of holy days, new moons, and Sabbaths are over. The whole ceremonial law is at end. All of the shadows of it are red, are fled and gone. The things that were shadows of becoming, of being come by Christ, the sum and the substance of them, there is no more uh, serving God in the uh, oldness of the letter, but in the newness of the spirit. And if you are a Gentile, which all of us are, all the formal idols worshipped, we turn from. And the language is, what do I have to do with any more idols of or what agreement hath the temple of God with idols, all former sacrifices, superstitions, and rites and ceremonies with worshipped them are relinquished by him. Christ literally gets rid of them. Again, we talked about what relinquish means. It's to cease to keep or give up. So all of the things that we go to, acts of the flesh, acts of all of the things that we go to besides Christ, if we become a creation and becoming all things new, then being in Christ, he says, those things are relinquished by Christ with all other of the heathenous customs, rules, methods of conduct, all of the things that we used to do. Behold, all things become new to the one and to the other. The gospel dispensation is a new state of things, the things that we're in. A new form of church state is erected, not national as among the Jews, but congregational, consisting of persons gathered out of the world and a new embodied together. New ordinances are appointed, which were in, never in use before, by baptism, the Lord's Supper, a new and living way is opened by the blood of Christ to the holiest of all, not by the means of slain beasts, as among the Jews, not by petty deities as with the Gentiles, like idols. A new commandment of love is enjoined all of the followers of the Lamb, and other name is given to them, a new name, which the mouth of the Lord God has named, none of Jews or Gentiles, but of Christians. You become a Christian, little Christ. And a new song are put into their mouths, even to praise God. In short, the gospel church state seems to be, as it were, a new creation, and perhaps is meant by the new heavens and new earth, Isaiah 65, Isaiah 65, 17, as well as those who are proper members of it are new creatures in the sense before given. So again, to wrap all of this up, that is what it means to be a new Christ, new uh, new creation in Christ Jesus. And that's what's super dope that if you say, I am a Christian, anything, I love that word relinquish. What does relinquish mean? Again, voluntarily ceasing to keep or calm, giving up, giving it up. The old things are gone. The new things are here to be completely regenerated, to be completely new, to be completely different than before. That's why I'm going through this program. I'm ready to be completely regenerated into the person that God wants me to be.